Hey, what's up guys? It's Friday, and welcome to another episode of The Dorm Room TV. So as you can tell, I am back in my house. I'm not actually in my old room. I actually had to change rooms because the lady that we were living with, my mom's best friend since they were like two, she moved out. And she had the downstairs bedroom, so I moved from my upstairs bedroom to this downstairs bedroom. So yeah, I'm back at home. I mean, my old room won't be fixed for like weeks or more like months, so it's going to be a really long, long process. So yeah, first things first. Christian, I really liked your uh, question and answer video. That was It was very reminiscent of uh, John and Hank Green's question and answer videos, so uh, nice on that. I would actually like to do one of my own, uh, but I don't know if I could accrue as many questions as people ask you. But if I could, then that would be pretty awesome. I'll leave links to my Tumblr and my Facebook in the doobly-doo for you guys to leave me questions. Anyway, I guess I should talk about school a little bit, huh? Uh, well, alright, so next week, I have a test in every single one of my classes, uh, starting on Monday, ending on Thursday. So I have Human Sexuality on Monday, uh, Music Appreciation on Tuesday, Physics on Wednesday, and Calculus on Thursday. But what really sucks about that is that Borderlands 2 comes out on Tuesday, and I'm not going to be able to play it until at least Friday. And I'm really, actually, terribly, terribly, terribly disappointed about that. One of the main reasons I'm so disappointed that I don't get to play it is because James bought me, Marcel, Jesse, and himself a copy for us to all play together, and I'm not going to be able to play with them until Friday, so I'm going to be underleveled, and I'm just going to be like the noob, and it's going to be terrible. But, I mean, once I do get to play with them, I'm gonna be, it's going to be awesome, and uh, yeah, I still have a hairbrush in my hand. I always have a hairbrush in my hand because I fix my hair so often. Yeah, I know I'm a girl, whatever. Oh yeah, and speaking of doing brotastic things, Christian actually did something that's pretty freaking amazing. So when my roof collapsed, I lost a lot of cool things. One of those really cool things being my signed copy of The Fault in Our Stars by John Green. Now John Green is not only an author, he's also a very popular YouTuber, and he's one half of the Vlogbrothers. Christian and I actually got to go and meet John and Hank Green at the Fault in Our Stars Tour to Nerd Fighting. Uh, it was a really cool thing, it was a r fantastic event, and I got a signed copy of The Fault in Our Stars there. Let me show you the current condition of that copy of The Fault in Our Stars. I took out the book jack to actually show you the real damage, so here's the back cover, front cover. As you can see, the cover of the book is like warped. Okay, yeah, there you go. It's like warped. And uh, the pages won't really turn that well. It's kind of, you can hear it creaking probably. But luckily, I was able to get it open to the page where I got it signed, which is good, but I can't really close the book because as you can see, it's, it's kind of difficult to do that. But anyway, this is a totally destroyed copy. So Christian messaged uh, John Green on Tumblr, and he told him what happened to my book and what happened to my roof, and I guess he sent him a link or something. And John Green messaged him back and was like, hey, that really sucks, and, uh, and here's the email for my assistant, so you can email her and she can get things working. So Christian did all that for me, and uh, he finally got this package in the mail, and I'll show you what I got. Paperback copy of Paper Towns and a paperback copy of... Looking for Alaska, two of its previous books, which I didn't own before, and a new Fault in Our Stars with oh, a brand new signature and a little message. It says, sorry about your previous TFIOS, also your roof. Hope this one stays dry, DFTBA. For those of you who don't know, DFTBA means don't forget to be awesome. And his assistant sent me this here postcard that says, hey Ian, we're so sorry to hear and see the photos about your recent misfortune. I mean, seriously. Total ceiling collapse? That's a heaping helping of suck. Hopefully this little care package will at least provide an injection of moral support. We're thinking about you and your family in... I don't know what that last word is right there. But yeah, DFTBA, cheers, Danica. Kind of looks like Indy or something? But anyway, I thought it was pretty freaking amazing that John Green, one of my most favorite people of all time forever, actually went through the trouble of doing that for me. And I, I don't know, I, I don't... There's no words to explain just how excited I am. When Christian gave me that package, oh my god, I couldn't I couldn't even form words. It I'm I'm getting pretty excited right now actually. But yeah, Christian, thank you. Thank you a lot. I mean, it means so 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 much. And uh I I don't know. It's 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 fantastic. Morris and I are finally back together. Anyway, I think this is going to be about it for today's video, you guys. So, uh you'll see me next week. Jesse, we'll see you tomorrow. And farewell, citizen!